Two years ago, Apple released their new 48 megapixel main camera on iPhone, and that's so good. But how to use it like a pro and how to maximize the result with this new little sensor? Let's find it out. iPhone cameras have always been great, but the newest iPhones like the 14 Pro series and the 15 Pro series have received this new big update. This switch from the old 12 megapixel to the new 48 megapixel sensor is, I would say, pretty huge and there's literally lots of potential with this new camera, but it's important to understand how to express it. First thing to do is to don't crop. In fact, for not cropping, I mean to not just pinch in while taking your photos. Basically, the thing you need to do instead is to use, for example, the 1x or 2x format that you can see directly from your camera and that's definitely better just because all the photos are made with a particular scheme of all the pixels and so it's better if you use the format given directly from your phone. And this is valid not only for this main camera but even for all the cameras so you need to use all the quality, all the resolution of the camera and even for I would say every single smartphone. So the thing you need to remember is that you can always crop after you have taken the photos and not just you know crop while you're taking the photos. Instead just use for example the 0.5, the 1x, the 2x, the 3x, whatever you have on your phone but please don't pinch in while taking your photos. Don't do it. And if you have the new iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max you can even use apart from the 1x which is a 24 mm camera or the 2x which is a 48 mm camera you can even use the crop of 28 or the 35 mm which is definitely better because these two crops have a right pixel scheme in your camera the fact of having all these pixels allows you for example to zoom in for example at the 2x and take some particular details in your photos but you need to remember that it's extremely different from having a telephoto lens because with the true x you're only gonna do a crop into your image and that's different from having a dedicated zoom lens so now you're seeing two different photos of the same subject the photo on the left is made with the 1x camera a bit more near to the subject but instead the photo on the right is made with the 2x crop camera a bit more far away from the subject and as you can notice shooting at 2x is not the same as getting closer to the subject in fact there's a bit of a difference for example in the resolution that's obvious but even in the composition and in the bokeh effect in the background so if you have this 48 megapixel camera just remember to not always crop into your photo to get some details but you can still move for example a bit closer to the subject in order to have a different effort from the crop oh wait if you're enjoying this video just leave a like that's really important to me and i really appreciate it and if you want you can even subscribe that's great too but now let's not waste any time and let's get back to the video if you want to take out it really the best result as possible from your iPhone you need to activate and switch to the RAW mode on the iPhone. Basically the RAW images allows you to have lots of more information and so lots of more chances to take out a better result with your photos but the cons is that you need to edit for example your photos on your iPhone or even on a computer and one other cons of the RAW images is that at first the photos are for sure a bit more flat as it happened for example on an external camera and even they will take a higher storage into your iPhone. You can decide for example to activate the RAW 12 or the RAW Max. So the RAW 12 is a RAW photo at 12 megapixels so just I would say the basic quality but if you for example want to make a crop in the photo editing process you can shoot a RAW Max which is gonna take all the 48 megapixel in your photo. Talking about the cons of having this 40 megapixel camera on the iPhone, the first thing is exactly the storage. In fact, for example, if you're shooting in JPEG at the max quality or even at RAW max, you need to remember that the 40 megapixel 5 in both cases will be extremely big rather than, for example, at 12 megapixel. And so the thing you need to do before shooting is to think if you will need 
a particular important crop into your image in the photo editing process or not. For all those of you having an iPhone of the 15 series, you can activate the 24 megapixel mode for your JPEG photos and so this is a sort of a compromise if you don't want the relatively low quality of the 12 megapixel and not the huge quality and quantity of the 48 megapixel. If you decide to shoot at 40 megapixels you need to remember that your iPhone is gonna take a bit of more fraction of time while taking photos just because it will need to process a bigger quantity of pixels and of information so you need to just wait this little more fraction of time than just shooting at 12 megapixel. And after testing this 40 megapixel camera and making some researches on the web I found out that the minimum distance of the new 48 megapixel sensor is a bit more than the old 12 megapixel sensor. Just to give you some numbers, the minimum distance on the 12 megapixel camera that you could find for example on an iPhone 14 Pro or older, it was of 15 centimeters and instead on the 48 megapixel camera, for example on the iPhone 14 Pro series and 15 Pro series is of 20 centimeters. And so this thing to me is sometimes pretty annoying but you know you cannot just do something particular about it just because it's a technical limit of the sensor. If you're interested in videos about smartphone photography I'm creating a full series about it so maybe you can check it out. And I would say that's all for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it I would be pretty happy about it. And even if you want subscribe that's so important too and leave a comment if you just have for example any sort of question and I will be there ready to reply to you and so guys I will see you in the next video have a nice day see you soon